This month, the world marks a somber anniversary. It was in November, 80 years ago, when the persecution of the Jews began in Nazi Germany. During the same month, scholars at the Catholic University of America denounced anti-Semitism in a nationwide radio broadcast. Now, 80 years later, students, faculty, and staff are commemorating that broadcast in a unique musical presentation. The purpose of this program is to repeat a truth, a timely truth, that man made to the image and likeness of God has an intrinsic dignity which must be respected by governments and by rulers. The Catholic University of America, combining composed music and recorded speech for performance audiences have never heard before. The arts event marked the 80th anniversary of an anti-Nazi Catholic broadcast. Comfort and strength are found in prayer. The recording is from November 16, 1938, just one week after the event widely regarded as the start of the Holocaust. The night of November 9th became known as Crystal Nacht or the night of broken glass. The Nazi regime staged attacks on Jewish-owned businesses, synagogues, and homes throughout Germany. It is the 80th anniversary. Dr. Jacqueline Leary Warsaw is dean of the university's Benjamin T. Rome School of Music, Drama, and Art. She says at the time, the radio response by prominent American Catholics sent a strong message. It put a lot in the minds of the people to think about. I think it brought attention to the actions and to the suffering that our Jewish brothers and sisters were going through. And so I think it was extremely significant. So significant, she says, the school decided to commemorate in performances by faculty and students using musical selections by Jewish composers. But all of this wouldn't have been possible without a lot of legwork by professors and students. It all started here in the archives of the Catholic University. This is where they store over 500 collections, millions of objects, including documents, photos, relics, all sorts of audiovisual items. But it was among these books where students and professors made an amazing discovery. The anti-Nazi broadcast of 1938. In the early 2000s, they uncovered a record of the original broadcast inspiring scholars like Dr. Maria Mazenga to study the historic recording and what it said about Catholic-Jewish relations in America. Many of the um, American priests and bishops adopted American ideals, individualism, um, religious freedom, religious liberty, and um, they began thinking of religion in terms of in, in the American context, in American idealistic uh, contexts. And that idea of religious freedom exists to this day. Dr. Leary Warsaw says it was important the Catholic and the Jewish community come together with a message of love. We are all children of God, and this interfaith experience for everybody, uh, we are hoping is going to um, bring all of us closer. And if we can, in a small way, help to eliminate the hatred in this world, then we're going to work toward that. And our thanks to the Catholic University of America for full access to cover the event and to take a closer look at their archives.